guys welcome back again this is the open VR tv welcome back and we are going to continue with you know what the same book of uh, proverb same chapter five talking about avoiding the woman named immorality let's get into it so we were looking from verse number one to verse number ten and we found out that whenever you do when it, what it's called what is called immorality which is anything that is against God's will, you get burned. Now, we, we I'm basically summarizing everything from, from verse 1 through verse number 10. Let's go to verse number 11. And we, we if you don't remember, go back to the um, go back to the previous video that I'm going to put right there on the card or even right here on the card um, to hear what I mentioned and the examples that I gave. That we understand what I'm what I'm talking about in verse number eleven. Let's move on. Verse eleven says, "And thou mourn at last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, um, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof." So remember, um, the whole time we were speaking, we talked about the idea of instructions and discretion and understanding and wisdom and everything and whenever you mourn it's because something bad happened you know when somebody dies you go to a funeral um you usually cry or mourn that um, when you wish you would have been there and you were left behind then you also mourn um so but in this case because people were living and marrying to that woman called immorality then their flesh and body are now consumed because of immorality because remember in the previous verses it mentioned that her ways lead to hell and death which means now instead of you enjoying life you are in sorrow um why because you didn't like instruction you hated instruction and you despised reproof reproof simply means correction you know so in this case um there is no other way than to reap what you sowed and verse number 13 and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined mine ear to them <clears throat> that instructed me that's the people that are that's the person who was speak we speaking you know the person who gets into the um the person who gets to the so basically he they still quoting the person who is who had fallen into the um the mourn you know because in verse 11 it says and thou mourn at last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say now basically they're quoting the person who is going through that problem or that um trial is saying how have i hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and how and have i and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers so that means that person had multiple people teaching them telling them not to do certain things nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me i was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly which means even in the church yes even in the church i almost in all evil in the midst i was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly so even in the church oh man even in the church even in the church you get that as well yes so it's not just something that happens in the world even in the church we have the same issues drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thy own well well guess what Whenever you dig your own cisterns, then you drink whatever water comes out of it. If you wanted to, if you need to dig, um, to dig more into immorality, then you're gonna drink the water that comes out of immorality, and and then 
the running waters out of thine own well. Well, it's the same thing. Whatever water you collected is what you're going to have. If you want to drink w- rain water, which I, I think is the best water actually. If you dr- if you want to collect rain water, then that's exactly what you're going to be drinking. Rain water. You can't to collect rain water, well, rain water. Let's say I'm speaking as a person who grew up in a different country as well. So, in other some in, in some countries, they don't have like um, those aqua aquafine or ozark whatever. It's the rain water that mostly people drink whenever it rains. They collect that. So, what does that mean? Well, if you collect the waters of immorality then that's what you're going to drink. Immorality. So, let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Let her be as the loving hand and pleasant roll. Let her breast satisfy thee at all time and be thou ravished always with her love. Okay. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> so we remember we were talking about like in the church. So s- what happens sometimes in the church actually I actually I skipped the verse. Oh, let thy fountain be blessed, verse eighteen, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Okay. Okay. So let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the street. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. So what does that mean? Remember, we're talking about the waters, right? We're talking about the woman. The person was in the church. It was almost in the midst of all this evil in the church and congregation. Okay? And what is happening in the church? Well, even in the church, people are doing the exact um, some people are doing the exact same thing that the world is doing. The fountains be dispersed abroad and the rivers of waters in the streets. So basically, there there is no difference sometimes within the church as to in the world. And that's a problem. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. So, Whenever you are, basically, the other the other way of looking at these verses as well is, don't take other people's stuff. Live according to what you have. Drink water from your own cistern. Drink water from your own cistern, meaning live life according to what you have. Don't try to take other people's stuff. Alright? And whatever you have, also share it with other people. Let it be only for you and not for the strangers with you. Meaning, if you have what is yours, you can choose to um, disperse it. You can choose to, s- to share with other people. But primarily, it is for you for you first not for you and strangers but of course you can always share next verse number e- verse number 18 let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth um now rejoice with the wife with the wife of thy youth okay um let thy fountain be blessed first Whenever you get something that you work hard on, there's a blessing that comes with it instead of when you steal from it, when you steal it. Rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Why is it thy youth? Most of the time people get married at a young age. Not in their late ages, but in their early ages. Why? Because that's when you can build something. And the moment you build something with somebody, there is more joy than if you had built everything and then somebody else came along. Right? Okay. So what next? Well, let her, meaning your wife, 
let the wife of thy youth be the loving hand and pleasant row. Let her breast satisfy you at all time and be thou ravished always with her love. So to the men who are having issues um, caressing their women's breath while making love, my friend, I got a message for you. There is nothing wrong with sucking your your wife's breast. Yes, it's okay to lick her nipples, um, caress her breast, massage her breast with your lips. If you can even bite it too, sometimes like not like little bites, like you know small bites, that is good for her. She's gonna like it. Okay, uh, I'm not a sexual expert, but I do know that one actually will work. Um, so don't be afraid to massage your breast with your lip, with your lips, with your tongue and your fingers and rub her breast. Okay. And why would thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bottom of a stranger? Now they are comparing your wife with a strange woman. Now he's speaking of a literal woman. It's not just immorality now. It's a little woman. Instead of having sex with your wife, why would you want to go have sex with a different woman? Why? That person is called a strange woman for a reason. It's not because she is strange. It is because when you have something strange that is foreign, foreign many bad things can happen. You don't know how many other men have gotten inside of that woman. You don't know what kind of disease that woman is carrying. You don't know what issues she's kinda, she can get you into. And I understand. I understand. We can also say the same for the wife. Because she can want to get pregnant. Get, she can want to get pregnant and then boom, child support. I understand that as well. I'm not dismissing, dismissing that part. But the one thing you do know is, now, unfortunately in our time, many of these women are not um, wife material or not virgin or don't have a low body count. So it can, something, some bad thing can also happen even within the marriage. But at the same time, it is better to have the woman that you trust than a woman that you have no idea what's lurking behind the veil that's the main point of this one next thing and we're gonna finish quickly for the ways of men are before the eyes of the lord and he pondereth all his goings his own iniquities shall take the wicked himself and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins he shall die within instruct without instruction and in the greatness of his folly he shall go astray. Well, basically that sums it up. The moment you decide to go towards immorality, towards what is not good, and you ponder over on that area, disregarding God's instruction, your doom is on your head. Because you had your parents teaching you, you had the teachers teaching you, you had your friends telling you, don't go there, because that's a bad bad path to take. But you chose immorality over the good ones. In that case, you will die without instruction. Because nobody can tell you to move a different direction. And again, ha, God is always looking and sees everything. Don't forget that. The ways of men are before the eyes of the Lord. And he pondereth all his goings be careful food for thought